computer is just taking its sweet time. That's fine. <clears throat> so this is an example of like one of your guys' uh, repos, such as like your front end or back end repo. Right now, only myself and Jarrell have access to it. So it's called pre-practice for whatever reason. And I'm gonna, I'll slack this to you. Okay. Yeah, I was looking through my email because sometimes it sends. Like, I don't even know. Practice. I don't even know if it actually will send you an email. Okay. Um, but just you have access to that. All right. <clears throat> so if you want to clone this down directly to your machine and then okay. uh, right now I'm getting a 404 error. You are? Yeah. Okay, I wonder if you um, let's see. So this is your Oh I'm not even all right. It logged me out. So I'm gonna log in real quick. Okay. And see if that helps anything. Oh yeah, all right, we're good. Cool. So if you want to clone that down, <clears throat> create a new branch called like uh, database config. And uh, I'll give you um, just like some database, some mock data. Uh. Okay, so let me put this somewhere. Or actually say, because right now this branch only has a Django project on it. It doesn't have an app to it yet. So create a new app just called like Django or like Capstone app. Okay. If you remember how to do that. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at my board right now, actually. So, <laughs> men, it's, uh, Capstone. <clears throat> so yeah, so once you clone it, create a new branch. Um, you probably have to create a virtual environment. You're probably going to have to install Django. <laughs> and then you're also going to have to um, do like manage.py start app, uh, capstone app, or final app. Okay. I'm going to, you said you want me to put that in like the capstone project folder? Uh, put what in? creating the new app yeah so so, <clears throat> so right now in here it's just yeah so within here you're gonna do like the uh python make make a virtual environment go into that virtual environment install django and then do uh python manage.py start app capstone app or something Okay, so we're going to do, okay. So I'm making the virtual environment right now. Yeah. And yeah, and again, that's all inside that pre, inside the pre-practice um, or inside the, like on the same level as the get ignore file, the virtual environment. Or it can be within it. It doesn't matter. Okay. I think, yeah, I have it right now on the same level as uh, the get ignore. Okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. Oh, wait. Let me go back. Go into our virtual environment. All right, are you in your virtual environment? Yeah, in the virtual environment now. Right. Now I am about to uh, CD. Into the capstone project? Yep. To the cool. Then I'm going to do Django admin. Nope. Oh. 
Python manage.py start app. Oh, Python, Python dot py. Wait, Python manage dot py start app. Correct. Okay, and we're gonna call this whatever. Or... Capstone app or final app. No, no, hold on. did you create a branch? It's fine if you haven't yet. Not yet, no. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> so did you start or create an app yet? It's, why isn't it working? Did you pip install Django? That could be why. Okay. All right. Installed. All right. Create a create a new branch called like uh, creating new app. Or, so, do you, do you know the command for that? That'd be hit checkout dash b right. Yep. Thank you. Checkout dash b. On any particular name? Just like uh, do Jarrell. Um, Jarrell's new app. Jarrell dash new dash app. It's just checkout, right? Checkout dash B. Get checkout dash B. Oh yeah, done. All right, here we go. All right, so now we're on Jarrell new app. Cool. So yeah, now you can do uh, Python manage.py, start app, um, new app. Okay. Python manage py, start app, capstone app. Okay. Did it work? Yep, so now we have our folder, capstone app. Cool. Now, do you want to add the capstone app to the settings.py file real quick? Sure. <laughs> and then we'll be done. Then you'll push up. Okay. Let's throw that in there. So adding capstone to installed apps. So that's in there. All right, so now you can get uh, get add everything, get commit, and then get push to your your branch. Then, all right, so now it's saying I have to do the git push setup stream origin drill new app okay so let's try that out i was telling you you had to do something yeah i was saying i had to do the git push setup stream origin drill new app that's weird i'm just doing the git push um but it says it it did something where it's doing whatever it's supposed to be doing <laughs> All right, so cool. So it looks like, so, all right, so you pushed everything up. So do you wanna make a PR? So if you go to pull request, new PR, and then request to pull your code into the main branch. Okay, so that'd be the compare and pull that I'm seeing right now. Yep. Sweet. So just click that. Okay, creating pull requests. All right, cool. So we have our new pull request. And in, in our settings, the, the branch requires, uh, it's got a branch protection, only one person, or it needs to be reviewed. So now what I will do 
is go to my local um, right here. And then, so right here, I'm in my PR practice main. Uh, the hell? Oh, snap. And now I can do get, I'm just gonna do grip branch. So I've got only one, my main branch. So Jarrell's um, branch isn't showing up yet. So right here, Jarrell's branch isn't showing up yet. So I think I should, can just do get fetch. It's gonna fetch all the branches. So let's see what happened. All right, I don't know, get branch again. What the hell? Do I have to do get fetch? Or what I can do, I, I guess I can do get checkout. Um, what is it, Jarrell new app? Jarrell new app. And there we go, I switched to Jarrell's new app. And if I look into the code, I've got the new app there. <clears throat> so now, so I, I switched to Drell's app on my local machine and now I can test it on here. So I can like do um, Python manage.py run server. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, I can do capstone ls uh, Python. Cool. And now it's running. And now I can just go on here, localhost 8000. Cool, it's working. Admin, everything's working. I can actually come in here and look at Jarrell's code to make sure that uh, the app was actually added. So I can see that it was already created. I can go into settings.py. I can see, hey, uh, he added the Capstone app. That's good. And if there's any other configurations or like functionality that I can test, I would go ahead and test that here on my local machine. Everything's good. So now I can go up to his PR and be like, uh-oh. See, it says, as an administrator, you still can merge this. I can be like, if I wanted to reject it, I can reject it, or I can actually create the merge request, merge pull request. So review is blocking, merging is blocked. I can say like good, and then merge pull request. Confirm merge. Then your pull request was successfully um, merged. And so now if I go over here, there's going to be no more pull requests. And now if I go back to the code, I can see the capstone app is there on the main branch. Well, all that was done without the merging to begin with. And then, but and there was nothing else that you did in between because the fetch did it work or it did not work. Yeah, I guess it didn't work. I, I didn't even know if I needed to do that. I just wanted to see, and I don't even know if that was the right. Um, so I'm still on Jarrell's app right here, but I can do get checkout main, get checkout. Oh, so I can say like get stash. All right, so now it says I switched to the main branch, your branch is up to date with the origin main. Um, <clears throat> I just wanna see get branch. So there I can see Jarrell's new app and there's is, is there now. I was trying to fetch all the, uh, so I don't know how to fetch all branches from remote. Uh, I don't like that. <clears throat> yeah. Disregard the fetch. It's not a big deal. You can just literally go to to find out the branch name. You can literally just find it and then do get checkout and then and then and then the name of the branch. Um, 
do you have the new app on your main, like on your local machine? Yep. So right here is my main, I'm on the main branch. And if I look over here, there's the capstone app now. Is, oh, okay. But you didn't pull, why you have that? Why do I have that right here? Like on your main, I'm, I'm kind of confused. When you did the merge. But you did merge on GitHub, right? Like, <clears throat> is it? Yeah, I think it's because, yeah, I don't know. But essentially what I needed to do was after I usually will switch the main, I, I, I can do git pull and it would pull all the, the updates down. So kind of like right here. Okay. Capstone app, added all this stuff. Um, I, I had a quick question. When you were doing your git commands, you had a git had like a dash capital M and it, there was one with like a dash lowercase u. What, what were those? Oh, that's just when you create a new uh, a new repo on GitHub, it, it tells you to change the name from master to main because going forward, uh, we're not, not going to be, we're no longer going to be using the master branch. It's going to just be the main branch. Okay. That's what that was for.